everybody. Thanks for coming. My name is uh, Vincenzo Spina, and today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, design and uh, natural stone. Um, the reason I came up with this presentation is because uh, I often get to ask to architects uh, what do they want to know more uh, about natural stone. A typical answer is we want to know more how to use uh, natural stone in a different way. Well, we want to know more uh, about uh, uh, not just the common materials that are popular, the statuario, the calacatta, the, the popular material, but we want to know more. So how we can use material in different ways. And that's why I came up with this presentation. I hope it's useful for, for you. Before we start, just a quick introduction about myself. I'm from Carrara, I'm a building engineer and uh, I'm based in uh, Dubai. I run uh, a stone consultancy company. We provide services, quality control, technical advisory, and uh, project manager for uh, uh, stone projects. Few reference of the projects we have uh, done. Mayfield Airport, Royal Atlantis, all projects based uh, uh, mainly in uh, uh, United Arab, Arab Emirates. So the topic, crisis of ideas or crisis of uh, knowledge? Uh, that's a big question. And uh, I believe that uh, right now we are uh, in time where there is a big crisis of, uh, of both. Um, we're gonna discuss about the false belief behind the idea that if a material is more expensive, necessarily it's better, it's not. And uh, at the end, uh, we are going to, I'm going to show to you four options, four ways of how architects can use uh, uh, natural material in a more interesting way. I selected some uh, case studies that give uh, uh, an idea of uh, their key projects that uh, have, where natural stone has been used in a different way compared with to, to the common one. And we start from these and then we'll go later on to, to, to see the four ways that I prepare for you of how this can be implemented in projects. This project uh, by Error Architects, it's a showroom in, uh, in Paris. I selected this project because uh, the way natural stone has been uh, uh, chosen for this, for, for this part particular application, it's not necessarily a beautiful material, just raw. It's very raw. But even uh, choosing to use the material in, uh, in a very rough way, it gives an amazing uh, uh, effect because the way the concept has been uh, designed. We can see that basically there is no selection at all. Another case history uh, that I selected is a project uh, uh, based in Dubai. is uh, World of Astoria uh, in uh, uh, DISC, is the financial, uh, financial area. Um, the reason uh, I selected this uh, case study uh, as an example, how stone can be used uh, uh, in a different way uh, is because this is particularly is not an expensive stone. It's actually a quite cheap stone. But the way it has been designed, the pattern gives an amazing, elegant uh, um, effect. And uh, it's uh, appropriate for, uh, for the concept, World of Astoria, as it reminds the classic style uh, of uh, uh, the World of, World of Astoria in, uh, in New York. Finally, the third uh, uh, case study uh, I selected is uh, a temporary installation. Uh, there was, uh, uh, was a showcase in the design week of last year in, uh, in Milan, where uh, basically uh, uh, Stefan Schulten, architect, recovered wastage of material 
mixed. He mixed the materials with other uh, uh, other um, other type of materials, and he reused. This is an, an application of uh, table. Why I want to show this? I want I wanted to show this because uh, uh, I think it's important to see even uh, how material that uh, we consider wastage is not used. It can be reinvented and uh, and used in a different way. You can see. So here they cut, uh, the, they took the wastage of the material, they cut in different shapes and, uh, and, and they cast it and they created a tabletop. Now the four types of application that uh, can be implemented uh, in, uh, in the design uh, when uh, using natural stone. Um, and this goes behind to use uh, just uh, standard size tiles or uh, book matching or uh, any type of application which, which is used commonly in 90% of the, the cases. Um, because uh, the message that uh, I, uh, I want to give today is that uh, the material doesn't really matter as much the design. The design is much more important than, uh, uh, than the material. A great design with a simple material can give much, a much better um, outlook than the opposite. Sometimes we have a beautiful material that is not used uh, in a very good way, then the effect is, is not great. So, the first uh, uh, way to use material in uh, in a different way is using patterns. This is uh, an example of uh, how uh, natural stone was used in a mixed pattern uh, for a Gucci store uh, in uh, Milano Malpensa. The advantage uh, of uh, this uh, application is that usually this type of uh, uh, sizes allow to manage the wastage, uh, allows to use uh, smaller blocks that usually are uh, cheaper, um, and the result is still great. You can see some pictures. So here, Lover, they played uh, with, uh, with the patterns. Even the flooring, they use a different pattern. The material is not the grade. If we look at the material, if we consider the material as, uh, as raw material, but when mixed in a pattern, it looks very nice. Now, another way to um, Another way to use natural stone in a different way is uh, playing with the finishes. 95% uh, of the projects, they just uh, use uh, uh, home finish, uh, polished, uh, but now the, the suppliers uh, uh, are offering way many more finishes and uh, combining these finishes together in a different way can give a great effect, even for material that usually in a, in a polish, polished uh, finishing are not that great. Sorry? It's the roughness. It's the leather finishing, the roughness of the material. Maybe from pictures, it's not really, it's not really easy to see. Maybe you can see better here. You can see the texture of the material. Another way 
very interesting in uh, in my opinion is uh, to use uh, natural stone as a concept to make a statement uh, in this case i cannot really say if i like it i don't like it it's just making a state statement it's saying something about the brand it's the stone definitely has <laughs> nothing as a selection but the way it was decided to use as a concept which is similarly uh, to the way it was used uh, in uh, Axel Rigato uh, showroom in Paris, stone as a concept, which usually needs to be uh, aligned with uh, what the brand, in this case, since it's uh, retail, wants to, wants to tell. So here we are really talking about uh, design. Here design matters more than material. The material is a very simple material, poor material, inexpensive material. But the way it was designed, it created an idea of concept. The fourth way to uh, use natural stone in a different way is to mix it up or uh, let's say to use for uh, limited details in a room. So not all over the floor, not all over the, um, the elevation, but for limited space. Here in this case, we can see a nice uh, um, a bathtub future with uh, uh, wash basin and the order finishing on the room is very rough. Here are just a simple design, just a simple detail makes the design. Here as well, has been uh, the whole room has been uh, designed with uh, natural stone and all over, but it create a great contrast with all the other spaces. So the, my message is uh, today is this. Um, Let's rethink the way uh, natural stone can be used uh, in uh, architecture and uh, in interior design. Uh, usually we have a lot of suppliers that can help and can support uh, uh, in this. So it's just about uh, um, having the right ideas, try to explore them and, uh, and see the limits are only in, uh, in our mind. I live with this uh, um, statement of uh, Joe Ponti, who was uh, uh, an innovative uh, uh, Italian uh, um, architect that basically in this statement, it pushes, it tells to use uh, natural stone and it's uh, totally in its beauty to take stone from uh, um, a different perspective and use the, in the way that we want to use the material. To, to take the, the material, the authenticity, the authenticity of the material, study the future of the material, visit the quarry, understand what's the behavior and take the good and bad, or take, I would not say bad, I would say whatever commonly is not considered as per certain specific uh, uh, range, but can be used in a, in a, can be used in a nice way for the right project. So if you guys have question, yes, correct. Correct. Sustainability. Yes. Correct. Correct. So, 
correct sustainability of uh, of the material uh, that's exactly as uh, i present as a case study because it's some material you usually look at you know i mean it would be wastage right be considered wastage in another project where we'd want uh, a selection range amazing uh, uh, amazing feature but in this case was used uh, to communicate an idea to it's not good it's not bad it's, it's just making a statement it's making a good statement for uh, for dolce gabbana in this case any other question All right, thank you very much. Thanks for coming.